Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Sunday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to keep it simple today. I'm just going to bring in one deck of tarot. We're going to use this Arcanum Tarot, a beautiful deck, to connect with the energy around you, your person and your journey. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. And before I even start channeling this deck, and you know, I was just asking the angels what deck to use today, and they guided me to this deck. What I'm really seeing straight away in this guidebook, and this is one of the cards in the tarot, by the way, what I'm seeing is coming together around the holidays. If that's on your mind, you know, if you think about it, we're in August time now, right now. So many of you may already be thinking about the holidays, Christmas time, Thanksgiving, New Year. Maybe you're thinking about what you're going to do. Maybe you're planning certain things. Maybe you're even starting to buy Christmas gifts. You know, it's not crazy to think about. It's a few months away. So I feel this is a huge sign about coming together. And maybe that's on your mind today. Are you going to come together for the holidays? I feel I need to be tapping in with that too. So let's bring in energy first of all around you. Energy around you. What do you need to know? Straight out. Energy around them today, straight out, one card flying out here, and the energy around the connection, the energy around the connection. So we've got very clear cards coming out, we're going to connect with the energies with these cards, and then I'm going to ask the question at the end, what do you need to know about the holidays, are you going to come together for the holidays? So the energy around you today is the Three of Cups, now this is a really great card because it's a card of celebration. It's a card of reunion. It's a card about coming back together. It's a card of reconciliation. So this is like the angel saying to you, you are going to come together. Now, I feel this is really answering that question about coming together for the holidays. Because if we connect with the energy of three, three is about you and them and the higher power. The higher power is creating the way for you to come back together. And you don't need to do anything but be yourself. If you're being yourself, if you're filling up your own cup, if you're remembering your beauty, your power, your light, who you are, going with the flow, trust in the universe, focusing on your blessings, that's what I'm connecting with here with these beautiful kind of fruit baskets or, you know, the abundance here. When you're focused on the abundance in your life, the things to be grateful for, the blessings, you're going to attract all of that in. You're going to attract so much more. That's what you're going to be focusing on. And that's what's going to be growing in your life. So when you're focusing on all the blessings, you're creating the way for the magic to come in. And if we connect with the energy of three, as in three months, we're connecting with the energy of where we are now in August time. But we go beyond that. We've got September, October, November, which takes us towards Thanksgiving, Christmas time in December and the new year ahead in January. So I feel this is also a huge sign and that's what I'm connecting with intuitively. I'm connecting with the message of coming together for the holidays. Now I'm not saying all of you are going to be in union by then, especially if there's things in the way like marriages or big lessons still being learned. But I definitely feel this is a huge sign of coming together, spending time together, clearing the air, coming back into contact and sorting things out. So I feel the energy around you is to know in your heart and soul with unwavering faith that you will be together at the right time and the universe is already on it to bring you together. So the energy of the three is a huge sign of the divine bringing you together. Now the energy around them is we've got the ten of swords in reverse. So this is really powerful because whatever they've been through, whatever they've been dealing with, struggling with, they're coming out the other side. And I have been connecting with a while for a while with the energy of October being really significant in this journey this year. And I feel that by October, there's going to be a completion phase for a lot of them. They're going to be healing the hurts of the past. So if they've been going through certain things in their life, it feels like things are going to turn around for them from October onwards. And I am also connecting with this, with this energy here, because I'm actually seeing this like um, pumpkins and fall um, flowers and fall energy. And I'm seeing this more as summertime, springtime. So I feel that this is a shift that's been happening since springtime, perhaps even from the energy of March, April with Easter to where we're moving towards in October. So I feel that things are turning around for them in October. This could also be a return of them in a higher way so you know it's really powerful because yesterday we connected with the energy of them saying i'm changing i'm working on myself i'm turning things around 
So it feels like if they are going through something, maybe they've been going through hardship at work or struggles with finances or issues with a karmic partner, or they're going to resolve all these things around October to be able to move forward. So this is like an end of a circumstance or situation. That's what I'm connecting with intuitively. So I am feeling if they've been dealing with anything legal, for example, say if there's some decision they've been making and they're waiting for an outcome, perhaps they're waiting for some kind of legal battle to end or they're waiting for something to happen. This is going to shift into place in October time. So I feel October, they are going to be in a better energy to be able to move forward towards you. Because if they feel like they've been hurt, knocked down, they're going through struggles, feeling sorry for themselves, lying on the floor in that pain, they are picking themselves up. And the angels are speaking to that. You know, when they go into this energy, they can be isolated, they can be a bit cruel, they can push you away. And they are hearing the messages from heaven. So I'm seeing this as the clouds starting to part and shift to allow the light to come in. And remember, the wound is where the light can go in. Now, the energy around the connection is the queen of swords. So this energy has come up for the connection because it's saying to you, you are strong and resilient. You can handle whatever is going on. So from your perspective, you have the, the tools inside of you to be able to stand what's happening to deal with the challenges, to speak your truth, to be yourself, to not get phased by what's going on. You've got that power. That's why you're coming through here as the Three of Cups, because this is about you remembering who you are, that you are desired and you are desired by them. You are needed and wanted by them, that you are valuable. So you are strong enough to deal with any karmic situation or any fear-based energies or anything they're projecting onto you. You're strong enough to deal with that. And this is a huge sign that they are standing up for what they believe in, taking control. It's like they are taking the swords out of themselves and they are moving forward with the sword. They're ready for what's coming. So it's like they are saying to you, I'm going to fight for our love. I'm going to get up on my feet. I'm going to move forward. So they are changing the way they are looking at things. So a huge sign of movement and shifts as we move towards October. Now, I'm going to shuffle the card because this is what I'm connecting with. Okay, the energy of coming together. Are you going to come together for the holidays? Oh my goodness me, you've got the chariot. Wow, this is... And they're giving me the chariot energy, even though this is the six of wands. And the six of wands is about confidence and all of that. I'll talk about that in a second. They are showing me the chariot. The chariot is about movement, taking back their power, things moving ahead. So it's very likely that many, 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 many of you are going to be back in contact before the holidays. I say before because I'm feeling things shifting from October, especially for Thanksgiving, for those of you who celebrate it as well. I do feel there are going to be unions happening as well. So many of you will be coming into your relationship before the Christmas time or the New Year period. But if you're not doing, don't panic or worry. If you see that that's happening for others, it's going to happen for you. The universe is giving you previews of that. And this is all happening now because this is your person showing you with the six of wands. They're becoming more confident. Now, they just made me gnash my teeth together, which is also about decisions. They are choosing now to feel better about themselves. If you're unsure what I'm talking about here, if you go and watch last night's reading... Uh, and I've put on the thumbnail, I've changed, I'm changing, because they are changing because of you, they're becoming a better person, they're becoming more confident, they're working on their internal self and their external self, so they are moving forward with confidence, they are going to have a reason to reach out to you, to say, hey, look what I'm doing, I've sorted out my finances, I've got a better job, I'm free, I'm single, I'm doing this, that, they're going to have a reason to open the doors of communication in a very powerful way. It's not going to be just a wishy-washy hello and then they disappear again. It's going to be a real concrete conversation. It's going to have substance and value. You're building this connection now on rock and stone. It's not going to get washed away. If you build a foundation on sand, it can get washed away. If you build a foundation on rock and stone, it's going to stand the test of time. And that's really what I'm connecting with here. So your person is showing you here that they are gaining what they need, strength, understanding, knowledge, wisdom, to be able to move forward to you and fight for you and make things happen. And this energy has been changing in them since June and the connection has been shifting forward since July. Even if you haven't yet seen the results, they're coming in. And there's going to be shifts and changes for so many of you between now and October, 
in October and the new year. Big things coming in. So the message is, if you're wondering, are we going to be together for the holidays? You're going to be together in some way. So yes, not all of you are going to be in union yet. Maybe that's going to come in for you in 2025. But for many of you, you're going to be communicating. You may even be sharing time together. You may be meeting up and celebrating things because you've got a celebration ahead. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.